morning and morning to all your viewers. What does it personally mean to you, Minister? We're at, it's the official launch of National Science Week. It officially starts on Monday, and it's all about science and technology. Well, I think, firstly, it's really wonderful to launch National Science Week at the Soweto campus of the University of Johannesburg. Who would have thought we'd be at the site in 2012 launching National Science Week? So it's wonderful to just introduce science to the people of South Africa, put it out there and say here's a university campus dedicated to advancing knowledge and ensuring that our people enjoy access to understanding of our abilities in science and technology. Now I'm sure that uh, in the department everybody's excited about this coming week. Let's quickly get into the theme. It's the role of science in economic development. The role of science certainly in economic development. There's so many opportunities. For example, let's just take uh, the issue of health. Uh, looking at the pandemic uh, that we're all trying to grapple with, of HIV and AIDS. And look at the range of treatments that scientists have developed. Look at our investments in trying to develop a vaccine uh, that would assist us to overcome uh, this terrible uh, uh, disease. It is scientists that are doing this work for us. We're trying to find new treatments for tuberculosis, trying to eradicate malaria. The products that will come out of the work of scientists will go into the commercial space in order to support economic growth, to create jobs, to create new enterprises. So we're really saying, let's not see science as just a laboratory practice. Let's see it as something out there that supports socioeconomic development, that creates economic opportunity, that generates wealth, quality health, quality water, and many other advantages for our societies. Now, the other thing is also about science, and I've heard the professor talk about it, you've mentioned it now as well, is making science sexy, is bringing it back. How important is that interaction on various levels? The fact that thousands of school kids will be bustled in, they'll get the experience, they'll talk to the relevant scientists, how important is that? That connection. Well, I think uh, young people, you know, tend to think science is really boring, that it's just this person in a laboratory uh, coat, who sits at a lab desk and you know has glasses and writes with a really boring pencil whereas it's really exciting um, so many things you know the clothes we wear as we develop materials um, fabrics that are more colorful as my outfit is very colorful all of this really you know, looks at how we mix the colors, uh, what we do in order to have a more refined fabric. So, you know, science is so many things. Multimedia, you know, the, the new films that are being made, uh, uh, which are so exciting. You know, lots of action films. Batman, uh, 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 I understand, uh, was launched. But Batman Rides Again or some such thing. And... Uh, the, all the artifacts that are used uh, in films, the stunts that we see, the very exciting work, all of this comes from technologists thinking, how do we do more? How do we do better? And what we're trying to do in our schools, in the science centers, in the over 140 spaces where activities will occur during the Science Week is to introduce young people, but more especially parents, please, because I really want parents to encourage and support their children to take up mathematics and science and to understand technology far more as opportunity rather than something that's difficult. Very quickly, let's look back at all the other past the science weeks and let's look at last year's theme. Have the objectives been met? Well, certainly, I think uh, the number of uh, people we see passing through all uh, the centers that host activities, we are reaching the public. Interest is growing. We're seeing our science faculties, for example, in our universities getting more and more applications. Our universities of technology are attracting more and more young people into fields of technology rather than administration. So I think we're having impact. But if we want to build a knowledge economy, we have to go bigger. And this is what we're trying to do through the activities of this week. Minister, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for talking to me. That, of course, is the Minister of Science and Acknowledging the Lady Panda.